Hi there, and welcome to Meals with Melissa. It is Saturday morning. Um, sorry, I just had my daughter tipping that up a little bit for me because I was like, mm -hmm. um, We are talking today about different things that you can add to your proteins because here's the deal. I, I get it. When we're eating super clean and um, things get boring, right? I hear from my clients all the time, well, now I'm bored. Well, let's get creative. But I have to be creative in a way that's not complicated because I just, I can't do it, guys. I can't do complicated. It takes too much brain power and I got better things to do, right? So today I'm going to actually offer you three recipes, um, but we're going to talk about multiple things because it's not that difficult. I think people are really making things a lot more complicated or more just harder than it really needs to be. Um, so a couple of things. Number one, you, know, you can change anything, right? You can be creative. My biggest issue with being creative is that a lot of people say, well, my biggest obstacle is time. Well, then why are we trying to make five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 different things a week in order to eat? You know, it's, it's much easier to make things in bulk, uh, make it simple, um, and that way you're, all you have to do is portion control it and take it to, with you to work or do whatever you gotta do in order to have your food with you. Um, but you would change things weekly, right? So one week I might do taco meat and next week I might do some garlic salt, whatever. So there's lots and lots of options. Um, you just have to think about what is available to you. I mean, think about it. You could do a rub, especially if you're gonna grill it. Um, you could do different spices, which we're gonna talk a little bit about today. Or you could do things like sauces. Now, of course, one caveat on sauces, guys, you gotta pay attention to um, what's in it because unfortunately, most commercially made sauces are going to contain things that you don't necessarily want because they're not exactly healthy. Um, things. Did you know that most spaghetti sauce has a ton of sugar in it? So, you know, if you make your own, that's a better option. And I, in doing research for this, I actually discovered lots of options where you can make your own homemade. Uh, things like a low sugar ketchup. You can also, instead of using sugar, because ketchup has, again, a ton of sugar in it, instead of adding sugar, you can use like erythritol or swerve or something like that, especially if you, you know, if you only use a little bit, um, you know, that can make all the difference. Uh, when you do use certain spices and things like that, I want to make sure that you're paying attention because a lot of times you're only looking at the label portion of the spice or the whatever ingredient that you're eating and you see maybe there's zero sugars in the label, but you fail to look at the ingredient list. Now here's the problem. So, you know, food companies have this little loophole that if it contains less than half a gram per serving of sugar, they don't have to include it there. So what they do is they break it down into different the different sugars that it might contain. So this doesn't have any, but say um, you have something that has corn syrup solids and maybe it has a little bit of agave or maybe it has a little bit of dextrose. You know what, they, they're gonna break it down into the different types of sugar that they have to still list it, but because each of it has less than 0.5 um, grams per serving size, they don't have to list it in the label. So you have to pay attention not just to the label, but actually the ingredient list as well, because you'd be surprised at what has sugar. As a matter of fact, iodized salt contains <laughs> dextrose. So again, you know, there's, there's something behind it. Um, we're not gonna get too much in that today, but just realize that you have to pay attention to those things because it does make a huge difference. You know, sugar, sugar's addictive. Uh, you can't say anything else but. Okay, so we're gonna talk about a couple of different things today. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna give you, um, we're gonna make the recipe for taco seasoning. Now, the reason why I'm making my own homemade taco seasoning is because commercially made taco seasoning does contain sugar. Um, and when my family is doing food prep um, and, and doing competition prep, uh, we cut out all sugar because again, that's something that we know that will spike our insulin, make our body retain um, nutrients in our adipose tissue. So we're gonna make a slightly different version of that. Now the first one that I wanna show you though, yeah, um, I love barbecue, not gonna lie, love it. Um, pulled pork, man, oh, that stuff's amazing. Um, there is an option of a better, a better option than regular barbecue sauce because of course barbecue sauce contains a ton of brown sugar. Um, so we're gonna make a, a simplified, or I'm gonna show you a simplified version today that, that is basically sugar free. Um, there is a product called, now um, no offense to Walden Farms, I do not like their product. It tastes chemically. Um, it has a lot of weird, funky ingredients in it, um, a lot of additives and preservatives. Now, of course, this one's not gonna be perfect, but it's a definitely a better option. This is um, G. Hughes Sugar-Free Barbecue Sauce. They actually make four or five flavors. They're just really hard to find. Um, I know that we find this one at our local Walmart, which it's less expensive there, um, but I only carry one flavor and it's really hard to find and they don't stock their shelves very well. So you might look at Safeway, which of course is, uh, what is it across the, I don't know what it is in other parts of the country, um, or Albertsons, which they're owned by the same company now. Um, see if you can find some of the other flavors. The only downside to this, now it is, it's um, corn, uh, high fructose corn syrup, 
sugar-free. It doesn't contain that. Um, it does contain sucralose, so keep in mind that what makes it sugar-free, um, their sweetener is sucralose, so you have to keep that in mind. And of course, um, currently I don't do a whole lot of sucralose. Sucralose can still spike insulin, but in limited amounts, it shouldn't be a big deal. And you know, as a treat, this might not be a bad option. So you know, you can make a great sloppy Joe sauce. Oh my gosh, doesn't that sound fabulous right now? You can tell I'm hungry. Um, and wait, here's the recipe, and I will include these below. Um, these are courtesy of my daughter Aspen. She's amazing. She comes with all all, all these ideas, um, but she won't be on film, so <laughs> she just lets me pass these ideas on. So sloppy Joe sauce. Um, I'm not gonna make it today, but I'm just gonna show you the ingredients. Um, I'm gonna show you the final one because I'm making my own um, taco meat, which I need to turn down my burger really quick so that it doesn't overcook. Um, so she takes um, a half a cup of chopped onion and she does it just as she's finishing up um, cooking her whatever proteins. Because I mean, you could use this on chicken, um, you could use this on ground turkey. I'm actually using 4% ground beef today because that's on my current meal plan that I've made for myself. Um, so a half a cup of chopped onion, um, a half a cup of chopped mushrooms. Mushrooms are amazing. We put those on all kinds of things at my house. Um, we are going to use, a, sorry, a third cup of the chopped mushroom, a half a cup of the barbecue sauce, again, sugar-free barbecue sauce, and then salt and pepper to taste. She also once in a while likes to add a little bit of hot sauce. Um, this one is Mateo's Gourmet Salsa. Um, we also tend to have quite a bit of Valentina's around my house. The nice thing about hot sauce, it's a freebie. Most of them um, contain absolutely zero. So this one has water, chili peppers, vinegar, and salt, and a little bit of sodium. So again, it's sugar-free, so that's a great option. Hot sauce, the right hot sauce is a total freebie. Um, if you've seen my mustard sauce dressing that, of course, my daughter Aspen came up with, um, we use a ton of this and that stuff. So um, mix that all together. Mix it through your hamburger. Again, I will include this down below. But you've just made a really healthier version of Sloppy Joe's without the sugar. That's the great part. Um, the other one that she makes is this really interesting combination for her ground beef. I have not tried it yet, but my husband has. He says it's amazing. So it's just an alternate... Um, spice mix for your burger, believe it or not. Um, so it's two tablespoons of cinnamon. Yeah, I know, cinnamon. Okay, I haven't tasted this one yet, I'm, yet, I'm interested in it. Um, a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of pepper, that's it. Um, they say it's amazing. I haven't figured that one out yet, but they're basically all three freebies. Um, you know, as long as you're not eating a ton of sodium and other things, yeah, you can kind of just get away with that. That's super simple. Um, the one that I'm going to make is actually taco seasoning. Like I said, unfortunately, most commercial taco seasonings contain sugar, um, and I'm currently sugar-free, so um, super simple. Um, believe it or not, you can actually, if you look at the commercially made ones, it tells you exactly what spices are on there, so you can just make it yourself. So I'm going to start with... And of course, these all have like lids and stuff on them. I'm gonna start with two, um, let's see, two tablespoons of cumin. And like I said, I'm gonna clear over here. So I'm just gonna kind of walk over and do that. Okay, now my meat's almost done cooking. All right, two tablespoons of cumin. And of course, and this, these are like super inexpensive ones. We've just gotten these from the local grocery store. Um, one tablespoon of salt. Um, we use sea salt at my house. Um, we have both coarse and fine depending on what we're cooking with. Um, and I actually pay attention to the labels, to the ingredient list to make sure that it does not contain um, any dextrose in it. Cause that just kind of annoys me that they include sugar and everything. You know that they do that because then you come back to buy more because it's addicting. And if you talk about processed food in general, um, they use a combination of sugar and sodium cause it balances each other out, right? Because if you, Anyone who's had something that contains way, way, way too much sugar knows it becomes kind of overwhelming. Same thing with salt. But if you add some of both, it balances out. And then, of course, most processed food also contains fat because of the viscosity or the mouthfeel um, that it creates. Okay, so I'm adding one tablespoon of salt. Okay, a tablespoon of pepper. Looks like I need to go grocery shopping. We've got all kinds of cute little containers for our stuff. It's kind of fun. All right, so one tablespoon of pepper. And now this is for one pound. I have one pound of ground hamburger in my pan. I'm just gonna dump it all in and then I'll mix it up. Um, now I'm gonna go to a teaspoon and I'm gonna do one teaspoon of paprika. I don't know, maybe we'll have a conversation in our house about how we say paprika. We have some pretty funny conversations in my household. Okay, so one, te one teaspoon of that. Okay, one teaspoon of garlic, pep um, garlic powder. 
I love garlic, so I don't have a problem with that one. Um, you could also add some onions to this. That would be super nummy. I love onions. You know, as a kid, I always thought, I hate onions. I hope I grow up to like these kind of things. Eh, it, it happens. You, your taste buds change. All right, garlic powder. Okay, um, and then you can also put, I'm not gonna put these in because I'm not, not a big fan of it, but you could also put in crushed red pepper if you want to. Um, you could add, you know, you can always add some fresh herbs and spices. Those are always great options as well. Um, but my last one is onion powder, which I am not finding. So I will find it here in a minute. It is not here. Okay, so um, I'm also gonna add one, ta one teaspoon of onion powder as well. And we're just gonna mix that up and that creates your own taco seasoning flavor, right? Um, and like I said, you can always add some hot sauce to it. it, would be amazing. So if you take that, you can make a full batch of that out of whatever protein that you want to, and then you could have your own taco salads, you can make wraps, um, you know, throw in a little bit of cheese if, if it works for your macros. Um, like I said, I'm low carb, so I would probably do more of a wrap style or a salad style without any of the carbs, just because it's, it's easy and I'm, it fits my macro, so it works great. Um, so hopefully that helps you with some ideas. Like I said, there's, there's, you just have to be a little creative. You just kind of have to think out of the box. There are some great versions out there. Um, I know I, I've worked with a couple of different brands that my local supplement nutrition store carries, um, and some of them are really great options, but some of them do contain sugar, so be careful of that. Again, if you're keeping your sugars low, maybe that won't make as much of a difference, um, but for those of us that really are having to pay attention, it makes a difference, right? Because of course that can be the difference between, you know, getting where we want to go for the next 16 weeks and not. So have an incredible Saturday, you guys. Um, there will be no meals with Melissa next Saturday. I will be out of town and not in a location that I can actually cook. Um, but the following week we'll be back. I got some good ones. I had to order some stuff from Amazon to get some of these done. Um, but we're going to try, it's actually a keto version of Nutella. So that'll be interesting. We'll just call it sugar-free. Um, so that will be coming up soon. Have an incredible day, guys. We'll talk to you later. See ya.